Hello everybody, this is GamerTag, you're Willy for another video tutorial. Hopefully you have seen how to set up an assault map tutorial. If you haven't, go ahead and click the box in the upper left hand corner there and it'll bring you to that video tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you all the differences in custom game for setting up an assault map. So obviously you need to set up game type to be assault. It doesn't matter what assault it is, you do have the choice between assault, neutral bomb, and one bomb. But any of them will work if you're setting up a custom game type. It just changes what the defaults are going to be. Now, score to win. This is how many explosions happen, like detonations of the bomb to win the game. Uh, obviously, because it's a team game, you can't change team enabled. For assault option, this is where you can set it up to be multi-bomb, which is, you know, if you have two teams, three teams, four teams, whatever, that's how many bombs will be in the play one-sided which means the team alternates between attacking and defending their bases and then the neutral bomb which if you use this one you need a neutral bomb plate which is if you've seen the tutorial on how to set up a map you know how to set that up and then you got griff ball which is basically kind of like the general rules of griff ball if you were setting up one of those maps you would set the griff ball rules to get that to work now this is how long it takes to actually arm it while you're in the base and this is how long it takes for the bomb to actually blow up. The disarm is obviously how long does it take for like let's say the blue team puts their bomb and how long does it take the red team to disarm it. And like if you drop the bomb uh, and you're in like this brawl and you're trying to pick up the bomb again but you can't get it, how long will it take till it resets? You can even set reset on disarm which is to say or which is enable on default. And that way, if I like disarm the bomb, it automatically appears back on the other p uh, player's base. Weapons and vehicles is exactly the same as default. General settings is exactly the same as default. The only thing that's different is the bomb carrier traits, and this is if you're actually holding the bomb. Um, default is your movement is slowed. You can only be in the passenger only. And um, your... Yeah, I think that's pretty much the only default. I thought you had a waypoint on your head, but I guess not. But you can set it up to be like a waypoint on your head visible to everybody or just your allies. You can even set it up where if you have the bomb, you have good or poor camo and you're visible to your allies. Um, you can even make it where if you pick up the bomb, you are um, bright pink if you want to. That's all up to you. You can set up whatever you want in here. And under movement, vehicle use passenger only you can set this up to be unchanged full use or whatever so yes you can actually drive a vehicle with the bomb i already tested it out so you can set up a game type where you pick up the bomb you run over to a mongoose you can drive to the base while you're holding the bomb that's all up to you um but you know go ahead make a map make a little custom game type use the different traits and make some interesting maps with that. I'd love to see them sometime. And I hope this tutorial helped you give an overview of all the different things you can possibly do with, um, with uh, the game types for Assault. Also, I wanted to announce that the mic that I use for my Xbox 360, which is the one I'm using right now, is going to be the default mic for all my new tutorials because apparently you guys like the sound of this one a lot better than the other mic I was using. So if you wish to see any of my other video tutorials, click the menu button in the upper right hand corner there and it will bring you to my interactive menu. You need annotations on to use it. I keep it up to date constantly. And as always, comment below and subscribe. This is GamerTag, your Willy, signing off.